Patrick Mahomes is on pace to be the greatest quarterback of all time. In order to be the greatest football player of all time, there is only one man that you need to be worried about outperforming, and that is Tom Brady. So today, we're comparing the career beginnings of Pat Mahomes Jr. and the GOAT to see if Mahomes stands any chance. Patrick Mahomes was drafted in 2017 with the 10th overall pick as the second quarterback taken in his class. He has now completed his fifth NFL season as a full-time starter. Tom Brady was drafted in 2000 in the sixth round with the 199th pick. Like Mahomes, he didn't see any action as a starter until his second year in the league. First, let's compare total stats through their first half decades as starters. As shown through this detailed and 100% factual graphic from well-known NFL reporter at Woke NFL on Twitter, Mahomes clears Brady in total stats and it's not really close. Mahomes has 63 wins compared to 16 losses as a starter, while Brady went 58 and 20. Pat averages 75 more yards than Tom every game with a completion percentage that is almost five points higher. The touchdown to interception ratio isn't close either with Mahomes throwing a 192 touchdowns and 48 interceptions compared to Brady's 123 and 66. One more pro Mahomes statistics from a 100% reliable source, sports tweeter Matthias Tonesetter. EPA is basically an advanced statistic that shows the value add that a player has to scoring. As you can see, Mahomes has the best stretch of value add of all time, and it is not close. Brady's closest stretch is nearly 150 points lower. And obviously, two MVPs have come from this stretch for Mahomes compared to Brady's none in his first five seasons as a starter. When looking at individual statistics, advanced analytics, and getting more insight from our reliable sources, Statistics-wise, there is no argument that Patrick Mahomes has been the better QB. However, you can still find arguments to back up the GOAT, obviously, or he wouldn't be the unanimous greatest of all time. This starts with Super Bowls, what many people believe to be what makes Brady far and away the greatest of all time. Mahomes and Brady have both, at this point, been to three Super Bowls. Tom Brady was 3-0 in his first three appearances, while Mahomes comes in at 2-1, with his only loss coming at the hands of, guess who? Thomas Edward Patrick Brady, who was 43 at the time and had just completely turned around a dead franchise. But what about their stats in those games? Brady's individual stats are just as good as his record, throwing six touchdowns to one interception compared to Mahomes' five and four. They both have two Super Bowl MVPs out of three games. These stats are courtesy of our third and final 100% legit source at BFO NFL or COF. So we've looked at individual and Super Bowl statistics. I'll say that we're all tied up at one to one so far between Brady and Mahomes for who is the GOAT. Unfortunately for Mr. Mahomes, at the rate we're going, we've pretty much exhausted all of the pro Patrick arguments. We haven't even discussed the weapons that both players were utilizing. Mahomes has had one of the greatest tight ends of all time at his disposal, along with one of the most electric receivers of all time through a majority, if not all, of these years in Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill. In his first several years, Brady was dealing with much less. Many young viewers may not even have heard of some of Tom Brady's top receivers in this five-year window. We have Troy Brown, David Gibbons, Deion Branch, and Reggie Caldwell. All respect to these guys, but they don't even come close to Tyreek and Travis. In essence, Brady was having to deal with much less at his disposal and still won three Super Bowls in this span. 
He didn't really start to have great weapons around him until 2007 with Randy Moss and then consequently began the Wes Welker, Julian Edelman, Rob Gronkowski years as he got much older. I'll leave the coaching and the schemes out of our argument today. Personally, I think Bill Belichick and Andy Reid are two of the best and add similar value to these quarterback situations as head coaches. Either way, I don't think it's too absurd to make the argument that Patrick Mahomes is on track to be the greatest of all time. But in that statement lies the one aspect that keeps him from that title. He's only on track and he's nowhere close yet. Tom Brady's longevity and continued success are what make him so great. He played at a high level in the NFL until he was 45 years old. He played 23 seasons in the National Football League. He has spent more than half of his life so far in the NFL. When we just examined the first five years of these players' careers, in Tom Brady's case, his first half decade in the NFL doesn't even account for 25% of his total career. While Patrick Mahomes' accomplishments in this stretch are unreal, can he keep this up for two more decades like Brady? Brady's Wikipedia page of accomplishments is almost as long as the Bible you can go on forever. With Tom Brady now retired, the chase is now officially on for Patrick Mahomes without a moving target. There is only one thing that we can do now as fans until we can reassess many years down the line in terms of who is the GOAT, and that is also a treat in itself. We get to sit back and watch.